Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Cube World. I am so blown away that out of nowhere, this game is now available to play for everyone. If you don't know, Cube World was a game that was in alpha back in like 2013, like six years ago, and it went totally silent. Nobody knew what happened to it, and now it is back. I don't know if this is the full game or a beta. I honestly have no clue. I tried looking it up, and I could not find a straight answer. So I don't care, because Cube World is back. We're gonna try this out, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, we'll be sure to play a bunch of it. So definitely let me know if you enjoyed this first episode and if you want to see more. But with that being said, let's get started with Cube World. So I'm going to dive into the customizations in a moment. Um, I'll probably just cut to when I'm done. But we do have different races. I don't know if these actually affect anything, but we have a human, an elf, a dwarf, an orc, a goblin, a lizard, an undead, and a frogman. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to choose. I mean, none of them are zebras, unfortunately, but I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and choose a frogman because like, why wouldn't we? Um, also, we can change the gender. Oh, and the class. Okay, so we have, let's go back. We have warrior who has the big club. Uh, we also have ranger with the bow and arrow, uh, mage with the magic scepter or whatever that's supposed to be, a rogue with two knives. So I think that for right now, since I am solo, Maybe I'll try Rogue. Rogue is usually my go-to for games like this. Uh, sometimes you do Ranger, but I feel like that might be tough going solo with this, because this is also like a multiplayer able game. And then there's like different faces. Depending on your class, I guess this changes a little bit. I love the happy frog. Oh my gosh, I like his happy mouth. Uh, that's face number five. And that's all there is, okay. And when it comes to the haircut, I guess it instead changes his eyes. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I mean, I think I want to keep with frog, man. There's like so many different options. And I guess now that I've changed it around a little bit, you can sort of see that. <laughs> it all looks sort of ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with Frogman. Um, and then I guess we'll just, we'll keep with with haircut one. And then we can change the color of the eyes, I suppose. This doesn't seem to do anything any, anyways. Anyways, even though we're a frog, I'm Zebra, let's get started. Oh, and look at this, we start on Asriya Hills, Asriya Hills, Anka Plains. Whoa, okay, so I have no clue how to play the game. Like I said, it's been six years since I've last played it, so this is a sort of, both a trip down memory lane, but also just like a whole new game for me. So this is gonna be fun, and I'd love to hear, are you guys playing Cube World? Have you played Cube World before? If not, we'll learn the basics together. So on the bottom left, it looks like we got some stuff. We're in Varno Village. Um, mouse one, which is the left click, is attack. We have this cool like double swing. Hiya, hiya. Um, mouse two is ambush. Can't quite do that right now. Maybe because I don't have any MP. Uh, hold left and shift is sneak. Or hold left shift, there we go. You can see we're on our little tippy toes. Oh, that's great. Um, we also have move plus mouse three is dodge. So that's like middle clicking. And then tap mouse three is poison vial. Once again, that's gonna have to use stamina. Well, there we go. That actually worked though. Huh, weird. Um, so yeah, this right here is our dodging. But then it uses up more of our Stamina, okay. Um, and then we have T, which is to call or ride our pet. Oh, I love it. This gave us so much charm, it's great. And then we also have Q for our life potion and R is our camouflage. Whoa. Why did that also, that, that filled up our stamina right there. So now we should just be able to do the, the ambush? Huh, how do I get out of, I don't know how to get out of the, <laughs> the invisibility mode. I guess we'll find out later. Oh. Are these people coming around with these actual players? No, it's a witch. Can I talk to you? Hello. I love going to the lake. Okay. And this is Quibla, a frogman. Doesn't want to talk right now. I'm sorry, Quibla. Wait, 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 here we go, here we go. Yay, you have a really high quality something. I'm really jealous. Well, I don't know what I have. Oh, this is the map. Oh man, there's lots of details on here. So here we are at Varno Village. 140 meters right now, hello. Oh, I'm teleporting. Oh, I don't need to teleport right now, I'm already there. No, I accidentally activated my potion. I need to sort of figure out how to play right now. Uh, cancel. Uh, but I guess for right now, we'll explore Varno Village a little bit. What's going on in here? Hello. Estuna, human, weapon vendor. So you have the unwieldy iron longsword, shappy iron fist. I would like just to go out and fight somebody if I can. Like that's sort of something I'm interested in is just sort of getting used to the combat, used to the game. Um, don't know if there's like a quest we could go on. Hello, human. Hey, my name is M Michael. Uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Flying eyes are really strong. 
Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, there's an eagle. Flight master. Oh, okay, no, this guy's the flight master. I was gonna say, it says he's a human. He's not a human, he's an eagle. Hello. Um, well, I mean, I say that. I'm a frog that's named Zebra, apparently. Oh, so I can sort of fly to some new places, as you can see, flight points everywhere. That's really cool, and you can go outside, like, of your realm. It looks like there's, like, different territories and stuff. That's crazy. I really like it. Um, so, yeah, how do I close out of this? I guess I just move. Um, what I wanna see now we have, this is our inventory. We have a shabby iron dagger, common iron fist, artless iron longsword. So we have different gear right now. Um, okay. There's like so much I need to dive into and figure out, I don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, so far the game is not the most beginner friendly, but that's okay. You know, if it takes us a while to figure it out, it takes us a while to figure it out. But hey, if you're a bit more of a cube world veteran and you wanna let me know what I can do, I'm always open to advice and feedback. Hey, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Asman. Isn't this place called Asman? All right, hey, it's good to see you. Are you interested in sailing? Of course I am. Uh, are you? What about this lady? Aru Arena? Hi, Arena. Uh, greetings. You won't believe what I saw at the Kadara graveyard, a magic book of crafting. It is no use for me, so I left it there. Ooh, is that a quest? I made a little ding, ding, ding. Um, oh no, I still activated the controller for a second. So that's my inventory. The, oh, this is crafting. This is my equipment. Okay, now I understand. Um, and this is what I have equipped. I also have the map. Uh, can I close this stuff? I guess I, if I just move, it closes it. It's weird, <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, that's options. But here I am. Where is that quest? New! Kodara Graveyard. Can I make a marker there? Um, I guess I can't. It'd be cool if I could. Um, but that was this way. So maybe that's what we should start things off with, is going to the Kadara Graveyard in today's episode, but there's still like so much more I can explore around here. I feel like I need to try that first. So let's go into every house and talk to everybody. I don't see too many enemies around here. I mean, I think the villagers are supposed to be safe. Anybody inside? Not quite. These houses are really nice. I hope we can make our own house at some point. That'd be fun. But yeah, I really don't know like what the state of the game is, if it's a full game, if there'll be updates later, but of course, I love playing these kind of crafting adventure type games. We've played a lot of Minecraft, Terraria, all that kind of stuff. Hey! Oh, oh you have a question mark. Don't you have a pet? Oh, I don't. Uh, I do not. Uh, do you have anything else to say? No, you're just gonna question me, question me on my lack of pets. You have a nice little house. Can I open things up? Oh, I can sit down. <laughs> we just sleep face flat in another person's bed. Hello, oh, I love your mustache. Jerem, hey, my favorite sport is hang gliding. Sounds like a lot of fun, gotta try it at some point. I don't think we have a hang glider yet, but that's something we can get in the game, or at least it used to be. Oh, you, you also have a really great facial hair. This is Degrim. Don't you have a pet? Bummer. Everybody wants me to get a pet. Well, what about these two? These two look like they know what they're doing. They got swords and shields and stuff proper. Both humans, we got Arena. Uh, one day I will be the best warrior in history. I mean, you'll have me as competition. Uh, what about you? Woofton, now that's a name. Hello there, my name is Woofton. Do you know, what did that say? Do you know what seagulls eat? Salted caramel is the right answer, wow. So if we find, maybe that's something we can do in the game. Maybe we can find salted caramel and give it to a seagull. Maybe they'll be our pet. Oh, what is this? It's a bunny. Hi, bunny. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can I, I don't want to fight these guys if I don't have to. I, I'm waving right now. I can wave at the bunny. Hi, bunny. Hi, give you a little pet. Interesting, really interesting. So I don't want to like dilly-dally too much, but I also want to get into combat and show that off a little bit. Oh, how, how about these people got more this is a no bold. Hello there, my name is Marmor. I'm here to buy sugar cubes. I don't have any. Greetings, nice to meet you. Do you like hang gliding? Everybody likes hang gliding. Uh, oh, hello, recently I traveled to the Gekor Hill east of here. Um, you won't believe what I saw, a sky whistle. It is no use for me, so I left it there. That's another quest for us. And that's actually a little bit closer. Oh, no, see, that time I made a marker. Can I delete the marker now that I have made it? Because <laughs> I don't need one here. I mean, hey, maybe that's where I should travel. 
what is this big purple thing though? That actually seems like something of interest. Um, like a big meteor or something, that's interesting. Oh wow, we've made our way pretty far from the village. I don't think there's anything I can do with the village. Those guys look huge. Um, don't know if I should mess with them. Ooh, what's in here? The little log. Uh, famous rivet boots of Razmek. Anka Plains, armor 17, it's five stars. Resistance 4.5, HP 203. It also gives haste, critical, and regeneration percentages. You received the famous rivet boots of Razmek. Wow. Okay, so I got my first item just by running around. I don't know if there's levels in the game anymore. Apparently there's not. But apparently there's also like, each gear is sort of restricted to the region you found it in. So there's some interesting things going on, different ideas that I'm interested to try. Okay, well that was super duper cool. We found our fancy red boots that you can see. So we gotta make sure that we're checking inside of stuff because there might be free things. So there are some scary looking enemies over that way, like bears and monsters and giants. For right now I wanna go to whatever this giant purple thing is. If we find some enemies along the way, I might wanna take them on but I'm not quite sure. I think it's gonna take some time to figure out what in the world is going on. But, you know, that's the fun of it, isn't it? So, yeah, we're just gonna run down this path. <laughs> I feel bad, I've been playing for like a whole 10 minutes, I still don't know how to fight. I mean, I know how to fight, I just haven't had the opportunity, but there's another log over this way. Because if we can find gear, I think that's the main way we gather our strength in this game. Enchanted Nartar Forest, we also have an apple. I will take the apples, because I'm sure they can restore my health at some point. There was nothing in this one, oh, bummer. Worth checking, though. Oh, wow, so yeah, it's an enchanted forest. Oh, this game is so pretty. I mean, I'm sure you've already noticed, but look at how pretty this game is. Look at the stuff in the distance. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out. So I still can't remove this star. Like, I tried double-clicking it, and that just zooms me in some more. So double clicking with the right and left mouse, sort of do some weird stuff. Yeah, there's like no commands. It's really weird, like no commands on the screen for what I'm supposed to do. What's weird on the top right here, you might be able to see, uh, it shows my coordinates, the time of day, the temperature and humidity. So that's interesting. If you ever need to know the humidity of the game, we're gonna go to that star. I think that'll be a good idea. Um, if not for anything else, um, it'll clear that thing, but maybe it'll give us an excuse of an adventure. Can I like, oh, I can pick things up, like this root and this mushroom, I can pick that stuff up, so that's another thing. I need to get to collecting. Whoa, that's a lot of enemies. Demon Marauder, Cult of Doom. I don't know if I can handle these guys. Oh, there's a little gnome. Um, oh gosh, one of them found me. Ow, oh, oh, no, I'm fighting him. Oh, this is working out. This is working out, look at me. Boom, oh, with the knockdown. Come on now. Oh boy, oh boy. He's punching back though. He's got that one too, he's charging. Ow. <laughs> oh gosh, come on, keep fighting. We did it, we got some gold for that. Okay, so move and mouse three is dodge. I gotta keep that in mind. And then I can throw, hiya. A poison vial right on top, they didn't like that. Oh no, hey, help, I'm trying. I'm trying, ow, 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 let's use life potion. Oh gosh, this is scary. Am I poisoned? Did they poison me because I poisoned them? I hope not. I can't punch them anymore like that. Um. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. They're all hitting me at once. Oh, I got knocked out. Ah, <laughs> what is that? I don't know, this is really tough. I have to come back for you, ow, ow, dodge, dodge. Drink the health potion. I, this is not working out very well, but if I could beat them, that'd be huge. I wonder if they're gonna drop anything more than gold. It'd be cool if they dropped more gear. Whoa, they're dodging all over the place. They just like punch wildly. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Um, ow, that hurt. Running out of health potions now. Like, it's a real problem. Oh, I, I, I canceled my, my thing. I still can't activate that. Um. That's not working. Come on, I almost got a couple of them, but then they do this move, and I just, I, I'm helpless. Let's make sure we drink this ah, whole potion. I'm not gonna give up until I get them, though. That is for sure, because I think there might be some good stuff in it for me. The problem is I'm about out of health, and potions for my health. So yeah, like, 
I didn't really, ah, I'm about to beat him up, but then I'm about to get beat up too. There we go, we got him. Snowberry Mash restores health over 15 seconds. I would like that right now. Well, thank you very much. I also have apples and stuff. Oh, this is good, this is very fortunate. There's only two more left to take on, so I think I can handle them this time. So I don't quite have enough stamina. No, I do have stamina, right? There we go. Oh, he's not gonna like that one. So that poison ticks away on him, but it's not by much. Um, Dodging the flame moves as much as I can. No, you don't, no, you don't. You're not happening. I guess you can sneak behind him, get some good moves that way. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> So I wonder if we get more moves down the line. I would really hope we do. It's not the, just these moves, but we'll have to find out. Like I said, there's, it's a, oh no! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health. Where am I? I'm on the Shrine of Revive. So I guess right there, that's the gnome, and the, the, the thing here, I think that's a gravestone saying that I bit the dust. <laughs> um, So, I could go back to the store now. I have a couple of coins, right? And it looks like now it's actually showing me icons on things I can do. So I think this one's blue because I found it. I don't know, oh, that's a chest. So that's something I found right there. Um, so maybe I should check out some of that other stuff. So let's try it out. Back at the Anka ruins, or Anka plains, not ruins. Everything actually looks quite nice around here. I mean, I can't believe I got my butt kicked so badly, but honestly, I got rid of a couple of them before that happened. Hello, this is Esni. Good day, I have a new pet. It's a bark beetle. That's cool. I want a pet, I really want a pet. That feels like it'd be fun. So let's get back into the action. Um, hmm. There is a lot going on in this game. You don't have to just figure it out piece by piece. But I swear it wasn't showing those icons on the map before, but now there is like a smith. Can I actually activate this or do I need to talk to somebody? Probably have to talk to somebody. Who is this? This is Jerem again. Hi, my name is Jerem. Are you a good climber? I don't know. I guess not. I feel like you used to be able to climb stuff in this game. Yeah, I don't know how to climb. Oh, E, okay, so I can climb things, that's pretty cool. Is this, oh, this is, there's like not people around here though. It says, this is supposed to be some kind of like woodworker, there's like a saw. Maybe they have certain hours they work and certain hours they don't. It says that the time is 14.01, which would be like 2 p.m. So you'd think they'd be working about now. But here we go. I can at least talk to this person. I don't know, I feel like the map's actually a little off because this is the sword person, which shows it's like a couple of houses down that way. Uh, this is also Jerem. There's more than one person named Jerem. I want to change my ninja special, my specialization in ninja, goodbye. Hey, how can I help you? Yeah, what happens if I change my specialization in ninja? Your specialization is now ninja. What did that do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, my moves are the same. I still have a... Actually, no, I don't have my poison thing anymore. But everything else is exactly the same. Or maybe now I have a sprint. Did I always have that? I guess not. Well, now I'm a ninja, that's pretty cool. I swear that wasn't an option before, so that's very interesting. Anyways, you can tell that there's like a golden crown that's what I want to figure out. Maybe it isn't off. I don't know what's with the golden crown now. I mean, maybe it's something like up there. Who knows? <laughs> this game is really weird so far. I'm definitely gonna need feedback from you guys. Hello there. How is it going? It's going pretty good. I like your style, thank you. Uh, oh, hello. One of the supplier gnomes went missing. He was captured by dark cultists. Oh. Is that the one I was already trying to do? I hope somebody goes to help save him. Me too. Uh, yeah, but I already found him. So I guess it's just sort of telling me again. No, there's another one way over here. Cola rocks. Sounds like fun. Um, so we'll go back and try to save that guy at the least. Uh, that's what I really want to do at the moment. Oh, do I have a new move? Yeah, it's a ninjutsu. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. I can throw little ninjutsu things. All right, I don't know how long that lasts for, but I appreciate a ranged move. There's like no way to cancel it though, it's sort of weird. Hmm, weird. For right now I can sprint, and then I guess... Okay. 
Oh, maybe it was because I was holding shift? Oh, you know what, the ninjutsu, I think that makes me attack faster. Now I understand. So the ambush is the right click? I don't have any MP though. It's so weird, there's lots to figure out here. I still don't have a pet. I love the little whistle noise though, that's great. Okay, let's get back out. You know what's weird? Is this game is like oddly intensive on my computer. I have not had a game make my computer's fans rev up as much as they are right now, like ever. <laughs> like I don't PC game a ton, but I still have not heard my computer rev up this much so far. And that's weird because I've had it for like two years. So that's bizarre. I guess it's just very intensive for some reason. Just loading a lot at once. Anyways, we're gonna get over this way. I'm out of stamina so I can't sprint anymore. That was maybe a mistake. Okay, so it says he's here, but he's technically a little over this way. And more apples to get. I probably should have tried to find a place where I could buy more health potions, but it was sort of weird. Oh, my full on apples? I guess so. I can only hold so much of each item. Gotcha. That's something to keep in mind. I sort of remember that now. So how many, oh, is there two? That's another gnome. I'll need to save him too. Uh, for right now though, I'm gonna try to, oh, this uh, does some major damage to them too. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is much easier. I like the ninja. Thank you. What is this? A caramel chocolate bar sounds delish. And a couple of gold coins. Uh, thank you. All right, then you helped the supplier gnome and he gave us a dragon root, another dragon root, and a caramel chocolate bar. Okay. Oh wait, no, I just got some more stuff? Or was that just coins? Um, emerald. Pick that up. Uh, now we can supply the shops in Anka Plains with better items. Well, wasn't that great? Thank you. All right, well, we saved the gnome. So he gave us a handmade iron longsword. So let's take a look at that too. So this is crafting. Um, so close crafting. So right now I'm using um, a shabby iron dagger. This does 11.3. Th these do two and then 2.8. So let me try to equip that instead. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, that's cool. Wah, yeah, wah. So what about these guys? Alpha dog, four stars. They're all alpha dogs too. Whoa, look at how big that guy is. He's like the alpha alpha dog. Can I just walk up and save you real quick or do I have to defeat all the enemies? Oh no. I don't know how this is gonna go, so if I can just attack one at a time. I'm missing all of my shots. That's not boating well. Oh no, I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. He's coming, he's mad now. He's like, how dare you hit me? The alpha but not alpha alpha dog. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do our, why can't I do my normal attack now? So maybe, ouch, that hurt, I can't save him. He's out of luck for now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. Do I drop things when I die? I sure hope not. But yeah, it's weird, how do I go back to just normal attacking? So when I activate the ninjutsu, I can only use the little frisbees. I mean, I'm sure they're like shurikens or something, but I'm gonna call them frisbees. That, that just sounds funny to me. Okay. So we're back in Varno Village, and there should be better stuff now. So that's exciting. See, I wanna zoom in as much as I can. I don't know where my character went. Um, There I am. What is that? Well, that's where I spawned in. Gotcha. Oh, there's another little frog man. Have I, yeah, that was Quibla, I've talked to you. This is such an interesting game. It has a lot going on with it. The problem is this is the last time I was here. Like, look, sword. You think that they, I mean, this lady's here, yeah, okay. So what are you selling? What is, okay, is this where I can sell stuff? I don't know, because there's equipment and then there's vendor. What is that supposed to mean? No, I think this is my stuff. Yep, this is my stuff, I can buy this. So how many coins do I have? I have 32. I mean, it says zebra level one, so maybe there are levels. Let me back out of here. See, yeah, it says level one up here, but maybe it's one of those things where there is an experience is determined by something. So yeah, there's different specializations. So I'm class rogue, but my specialization is ninja. And my weapon level is two out of five and my armor level is two out of five. So I gotta pay attention to this right here because this will probably determine who I can go against. Um, so this is all of my equipment. So I have like iron daggers. I have a shabby iron fist plus, uh, which I don't think I need. <laughs> Um, 
Unwieldy Iron Longsword, Scratchy Iron Fist, Shabby Iron Dagger. Um, beyond that, I have an Emerald, which I think I can apply to a weapon, so I'm gonna hold on to those for now. Wait, what? My Caramel Chocolate Bar is a pet? Oh, I give this to something and it'll become my pet. I'm a dingus. That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, can I put this away? Um, maybe. I don't want it anymore. Um, there we go. Yep, okay, we're fine now. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, but yeah, that means a lot of weird stuff. So I could sell stuff here. So I could sell all of this because I don't really need it. That brings me up to 45 coins. I could get a dusty iron dagger, but it's just not worth it. And this even isn't worth it. So I got a pretty good sword for what I got going on right now. So there is that. What I also want to see is just like what other places I can maybe get some stuff. Cause like this is also another good store. And you have a glass flask, sugar cube, there was somebody trying to buy sugar cubes, cotton candy, and bombs. Oh, I wanna buy a couple of these. Received one bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna buy 10 bombs. Cause I think that was a big thing about the game before is that you could bomb things. Can I break these? Can't do it like Legend of Zelda style where you can break things open like this. Actually, open. No, that opened that door, <laughs> the window, whatever it is. And this seems to be, ah! Insectoid. Hello, Astar the Insectoid. You just came through the wall. Hi. Yesterday I was exploring the Asdor Men here northeast of here. Suddenly I heard a gnome screaming. He was captured by bandits. Hello, who is this? Chili of the Goblin, why are you guys going through walls? I'm visiting Varno Village to buy a new piece of armor. That's cool. And this is Kira, a lizard man. Greetings. I'm here to buy a new weapon. Okay, which weapon? And then this is Rihanna, the witch. Hi! Hmm? You really look weird, thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm done talking to you. And this is the inn. Greetings. You can rest in our inn between 18 hours in the evening and 16 hour, or six hours in the morning. Okay, so 18 is like what, 6 p.m.? So 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So yeah, actually the rooms, like the things are popping up now. I swear it wasn't before, but if it's working now, that's great. Um. Anyways, uh, over this way, what do you do? Oh, you are an ident identifier. So if I find something that's unidentifiable, or like I don't, I haven't identified it, I can come to her and she can identify it for me. That's cool. So there's still a couple more things I can do around here. Whoa, look at our super jump. That was cool. Um. So yeah, this is what you have. You have different like armor stuff. So you have scratched silver amulet, shabby gold amulet. Hmm, undamaged cotton gloves. I don't know if it's quite worth buying that stuff, but it's good to know it's here. That's what I'm sort of trying to decipher right now. What is here? What can I do with it? All that kind of stuff. Still very confused on a couple of things. Like what is this golden crown supposed to mean? I mean, I guess that's just the class specialization. I can change it to assassin. So that the assassin is the poison vial. I like the ninja better, but you guys can let me know. Maybe there's one perk above the other. So here's where things get weird. I don't see the the person for this one anywhere. So I think that's just maybe where I'm out of luck. Um, but yeah, I figured for the rest of today's episode, which won't be too much more, I got the check mark there. I wanna move. I guess just to wherever I can reach next, if I could make my way to the Kadara graveyard or something like that, that'd be cool. What I do wanna pay attention to is like how this town looks. Like maybe there's other towns around. It gets all cold down this way. I wanna keep it to this region for now if I can manage. Like over this way, that's a four star. This was a one star. That's what I need to pay attention to. White, so like white is one star, purple is four, blue is three. I'm gonna guess that green is two. Maybe, that's usually how those color systems work. Um, so yeah, I guess it's time to sort of adventure around for a little bit for the rest of today's episode. Don't know how much more we'll do today, but I sort of wanna have fun with it. This game is really cool and I really enjoy it so far. Uh, it just takes some time to just figure out what in the world I'm doing, you know? Um, and if that's the case, so be it. Let's have some fun. So over this way, 
What do we got going on? It's gotten very quiet in terms of the music. The music all went away. Yeah, we got these guys. Back in the Anka Plains. These guys are three stars. And that's where I just don't trust things as much. What about those guys way over there? They are also three stars. I don't remember what the other, the guys we have defeated, what level they were like. Um, But I'm gonna try this. Oh man. Oh, it's actually working not so bad. So I can activate the ninjutsu and try to get rid of these guys as fast as I possibly can. Ah, oh, he's healing, he's healing. I don't like it, they're all guys. <laughs> oh, that's scary. But the intercept stunned him. So that gave me a couple of gold coins. Not much though, I was hoping for more. Um. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. So it looks like the ninjutsu's over. Okay, ready? Oh, that didn't work. Ow, ow, ow. Um, am I poisoned? Oh, look at that, so that is cool. Come on, ow, oh, oh, whoa, ah, ah, you're supposed to be stunned right now, ow, wee. I'm gonna put the bomb down because that's what I have chosen right now. Oh, come on, I'm dying so often. Let's revive. I need to change some things. Yeah, I want to change this. Perfect. Um, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. Where did I die? I died right over this way. I'm gonna be beating those guys up for sure. I'm not gonna let them get away with that. <laughs> I wasted one of my bombs out on a situation that really didn't call for it. So that sort of stinks. Have I talked to? Yeah, I've talked to Estony. Uh, good day. I have a new pet. Yeah, it's the the bark beetle. Oh, what about this? We got a little scrub. I can beat this up. And that got me some cobweb. And also a cotton plant. What'll this get for me? Uh, cotton capsules, what do you know? Okay, well that's very cool. Hopefully we can get things that maybe like improve our stamina or something. Yeah, I guess I just sort of run the same speed if I'm out of stamina, even though it looks like I'm ninja running. Okay. But I do have the ability to throw out the ninjutsu, so let's make the most of that. And then slam them like that, that was good. Yeah, I love the in increased attack speed. So that gave us a couple more gold. I was just hoping for a bit more, you know? When it comes to like what they drop. I've been a bit underwhelmed with that. Now these guys don't have too much health. But now my attacks are slower, I gotta be careful. As you can see, I can't tank much damage. But as I get better stuff, I'm sure that'll improve. Oh, that's so good though, I like that. Come on, back it up. Maybe eat an apple. Oh, so when I eat an apple, I have to sit on the floor. So that looks like there are some advantages to some things. Oh geez, oh geez, come on, run. Run, 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 run. I need to get out of here. Because he is chasing me and I have no health left. I got rid of one of them though. Man, oh man, this has been crazy. This has been really tough. I don't know if I've made a lot of progress in today's episode or not much, you know? Oh, I've made him mad again. I don't know if that was the best idea. If I could do that, and then he had to start swinging him, I got the ninjutsu activated again. Ow, ow, oh, who's gonna win? It's just barely gonna be me. I just get more coins for it, which is great and everything, it's just not everything, you know? All right, so I'm gonna keep heading over this way. And hope for the best. If we can make our way over to this cave. Let's go to this cave and see what's in there. And then after that, maybe we'll finish it off back at that one jungle we were at before. It's weird, like the sense of discovery is definitely fun in this game, but it's also like trying to figure out everything else going on. Like, I feel like this is definitely a game I could get into and play a lot of. It just depends on how much of a sense of progression it ends up giving me, you know? So what's going on in a cave like this? You can see the sunlight beaming down, that's really cool looking. I have next to no health, so probably I should heal before I run into an enemy. Might wanna look into getting another apple at some point. But these, they, they heal you up a lot. The only problem is you have to stay stationary. So far, caves are weird. They don't have much in them. Hmm. Whoa. Spoke too soon. These guys are only three stars. The other guys were, well, the other guys were also three stars. These guys are rocklings. Uh, well, are you ready to rock then? Beat this guy up as much as I can. Ow, oh, no, 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 don't beat me up. Use the rest of my ninjutsu to beat this guy up too. And then, boom, got him, he's finished. Yep, totally finished. They don't drop anything more than gold. I really do think that's a shame. Ninjutsu is still going on here. There it goes, it's over. Stunned him. 
It's not doing much damage anymore. Is this guy like extra powerful? I don't know. Um, There we go, stun him again. See how he's still, still at like 190? Don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, did you stun me? No, he's going down farther now. It's weird when he was stunned, it didn't do much damage. I guess the stun itself is really the idea. Okay, so maybe I should heal before I run into more enemies. Okay. My mouse too is perforate. What does that mean? I guess that. But this is intercept. I don't know what the difference really is. I wish there was a bigger descriptor to things, but there is not. <laughs> so there wasn't too much in the cave except for enemies, which is still cool that we were able to take those guys down. But beyond that, it was rather bizarre. But there's hopefully a lot of stuff we can eventually get, like the glider and things, and a pet. If I can find a creature I guess I like, I can get them as a pet. But they might have to be peaceful, because I know there was like the rabbit. It was very peaceful. What's going on over this way? See, these are moles, and they, they're green. So I'm pretty sure that means they're nice. But more rocklings. Hey, 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 no, leave the moles alone. Okay, buddy, now you're in trouble. Now you've made me angry. You beat up on poor defenses. Why are the moles mad at me? Hey, I was trying to save you. <laughs> okay, I'm the bad guy, I see it. I get it, that's how you wanna treat me, then fine. What are these things? Bloom links. you see how they're green though? But they have a green, yeah, cause green's two star difficulty. I got it now. They're trying to fly over me. Oh, this time you gave me something. You received popcorn. Is popcorn something I eat? Or maybe it's for my pets again? Yes, I can offer that to my pets. Ah. So I guess it really is that there are certain creatures that prefer certain types of food. Okay, dude, come on down here so that I can totally just miss. This is weird, <laughs> this is so weird. Come on, come on, come on. He's not taking any damage right now. This is crazy. There we go, I was able to stun him though. So some enemies will drop at least like little bits of food. But beyond that, it ain't much. Hoping nobody attacks me here. This has been one heck of a journey so far in today's episode with Cube World. So are you gonna attack me or not? Hi, can I find out what kind of food you like? I don't know if I should just offer you a treat because if it's not what you like, then I'm wasting it. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, instead, I will just make my way to the one uh, forest I wanted to get to in today's episode and finish it off with that. I would love to hear your tips for this game. I, oh, 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 that hurt. That was a tip for you. Don't fall too far from from a cliff or you'll get hurt. But <laughs> I would love to hear your guys' tips for the game. Anyways, I can progress and stuff. Any tips you might have, things you've been discovering in the game, I'd love to hear all about it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Cube World. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Cube so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.